Hello everyone, today I will show you how to resolve the problem while you are installing Windows and getting error message. The message normally comes up with this um, the window and it says CD DVD driver missing while you are installing Windows 7 or 10. Uh, today I have a HP Pavilion G6 series and I was trying to install the Windows and I was getting this message. This message normally comes from the USB port. This laptop has three USB port, two on the left hand side and one on the right hand side close to the charging port. I'll show you uh, during the process what kind of error message it is giving me. First things first, what we need to do uh, for HP, most of the HP laptop, uh, you need to change the BIOS setting. So if you press F10, it will bring it to the BIOS option. So the legacy boots, boots uh, legacy support basically, legacy support is normally disabled, the default is disabled. What you need to do, you need to enable and then press yes. And then again F10 to save all the instruction you will see in the screen. After you change the BIOS de default function, it will give you a code that BIOS has been changed. So you need to paste this code on your keyboard and press enter. Just follow the instruction, now you will know it is very easy. For most of the HP laptop, if you while the laptop is booting up, if you press escape from the keypad and it will give you this option so in this case uh, I will press F10 as it says uh, no sorry it says by setup I will press F9 to select the boot device and when you uh, press F9 it will give you the boot option like uh, what you are connected with like as I inserted the USB it will show the USB name you can see the USB says USB hard drive TDK my USB is TDK I'll show you and then select the USB press any case no one it is loading up you will see starting windows you will see the problem will come because I already tested it before I just wanted to revise to make a video and you physically is I mean you can see in your eyes what I did and and so on click next You see the problems came on. It's uh, saying the problem when you require CD DVD drive device driver is missing. Why I'm saying there's USB problem because the USB normally works when this laptop had working Windows. I use this USB port for data transferring normal pen drive connect. It it used to work normal I never got any problem but while I'm installing Windows is giving me this message in this case uh, I will try another USB port so in order to do that I will hard shut down the laptop and now you see the USB this is the first port I have tried from the left hand side and there is another close to it I'll plug it in And I will go through all the process not by setting up because we already changed the by setting so we just press escape and then it will give you the option 
press 9 again f9 sorry I pressed f10 by mistake Fish escape here. Yeah. F9 again to select the USB just like before, it's normal. You see, it's taking uh, the windows from the second USB port as well, but it will show the message. I'm 100% sure because I already tested few times to be confirmed 100% that it is a USB port problem. I don't know, maybe USB, uh, sorry, HP has some particular function with USB port. Maybe the USB normally works, but not for Windows. I really don't know what is behind it, but that's what I faced. Try again next. Yeah, it's giving the same messages. In this point, I was thinking like uh, I have a problem with my USB. Maybe the Windows is corrupted somehow. But I tested with a different laptop. It worked. So I was confirmed now my USB is okay. Now I am putting the USB on the right hand side, as I said, close to the charging port. That one will work. I'll show you, go through the same process, escape, then F9 and select the USB. It's loading the file. You see, it's giving me, it's taking the windows from USB and giving me the option to choose what I want to install. So I selected, in this case, Ultimate. And this is the normal process, you know. Agree and go Custom Advanced. If I click, I can see the hard drive. I will delete the hard drive as in clean install. The partition especially. Yeah. Just click next okay in here I still when I tried first time I was thinking maybe it will not take what it actually took it's installed and I'll show you it's installing again from this USB port I may skip or pause the video or because it will take long time to show you what exactly to make the video short and what exactly you need to know. As soon as it on a two percent it means it's taking.
yeah, 1%. So I believe it is taking, and as I said, uh, I tried before, so I am 100% sure it will take. In between, it will restart a few times. As I said, I paused the video to make it short. As Windows activated setup is a stunning service, so it will work. After you start, it says completing installation now. It will restart a few times, as I said. And you, of course, you know while you install the Windows, it restarts a few times. So what I wanted to actually tell that if you face this kind of problem, uh, mostly the problem is comes from uh, from your laptop or computer USB port. I tried with the uh, different laptops, <coughs> sorry, different computers and laptops, but I never had this kind of problem. And so uh, when I started to install Windows on this computer, I mean HP Pavilion G series. I I never even thought like I should change the USB port. I was keep doing it from the left hand side because it was close to me and it, it was easy. I never thought that it will take the uh, Windows from from the third USB port that is close to the uh, charger port, charging port. Sometimes it's very frustrating uh, that. It's a very little matter, it's not working, um, you think something is big happened, or I, we don't know what to do. As you can see, I opened the computer, the Windows is installed. It's, it's working perfectly. So it is installed 100% and, and the problem is the port. That's basically all, all of it guys and hopefully you, you may find helpful. Thanks for watching the video.